But man feels separated from God. That's the feeling that we have because of shame. Because deep down, we don't feel worthy enough to be in the presence of God without some sort of covering, which would be a, some sort of good works or offering or sacrifice just to make sure that a God will accept the sacrifice so we can come. Well, all God requires is that we walk back to him through the fire, which will burn up all of the dross of that lost identity and reveal the true nature of pure gold. Yeah, that's all it requires. But for most people, fire is a scary thing because they don't want to let go of their identity. They don't want to let go of what they've made of life, of who they are. And, you know, particularly for some people, you know, that's a big deal. What they've made of life, you know, they did it their way and had a measure of success. But obviously it doesn't last and it won't make them eternally happy. So they turn from it. So sin consciousness is not to be conscious of behavior. It's to be aware of lost identity. And if we start thinking about true identity, then it will begin to change how we live. Because I am the righteousness of God in Christ. That's who I am. He made me righteous. So I shouldn't have to think about anything which is contradictory to that. Because he made me righteous. I didn't make myself righteous. I didn't do anything. He did it all. Which for some people, well, they want to do something. To receive a total free gift is hard for people who are living self-righteously. Because they think they have to or ought to do something to make amends or to put it right or to do whatever it might be. Whereas God doesn't require anything. He just says, come. Come as you are. And you'll be transformed. Religion focuses on behavior and change your behavior to be accepted by God and us. And therefore, a lot of people who don't change their behavior are never accepted in church because they don't fit. They don't fit the behavioral norm. Well, most of that behavioral norm is not godly. It's denominational or cultural. So I think what Adam and Eve did, and Adam, through Adam, mankind died. We're all died in Adam. Now, that's not talking about physical death, but talking about the separation that takes place as a result of our independence. We're separated from life. So the wages of sin is not punishment for doing things wrong the wages of sin is death which means if you live with lost identity you're living a less than kind of life it's like being dead compared to the eternal value of god's life it's like this is death compared to eternal life the quality of god's life that's really what it's trying to get over you don't know how good it is to live in this so begin to start thinking aligned to who you really are and you are righteous you know? but that doesn't control people and a lot of churches need to control people's behavior so they put a threat on behavior of god will punish you if you step out of line you know which ultimately there is no punishment there's consequences in our own life but God's mercy will even overcome those consequences if we go and find grace and mercy. But people tend to keep operating independently. So trying to fix it. And every time they try and fix it, they make it worse. You know, so let him fix it. He's already fixed it. Embrace the fix. You know, and we'll discover really who we really are. Um, which is why you know i love the mirror bible because it's all focused on our identity in the mirror of god not on 
what we've done in this world or what we thought or anything like that you know it's who where we really are you know, that's the key you know, that's our true identity in sonship if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much